Sorry, I'm just staring. Uh, this paint is beautiful on this truck. Uh, 1992 Ford F-250, that's a three quarter ton. Uh, it is an XLT. So she is loaded up nicely with uh, the, the cushy couch-like uh, uh, bench seat and all the carpet and the power options that go along with it and the chrome bumpers and things like that. Uh, this was elderly owned here in Wisconsin. Truck shows uh, just over 99,000 original miles. It was used, as I mentioned in, in uh, other videos, used to tow a camper in the summer. Um, so underneath the bed liner uh, is a fifth wheel hitch. So I'll leave it up to the new owner whether or not they want to cut the bed liner or very easily just slide the bed liner out and then you can uh, just bolt down the... Uh, the fifth wheel with the with the quick releases that are in it and you're good to go so I'll leave that up to you uh, but just want to do a quick walk around again to really just show off how nice and deep and reflective the paint is on this truck really shows nicely this is a Wisconsin truck and was subjected to a little bit of moisture over the years so the truck does have some rust um, Undercarriage is really nice, especially for a Wisconsin vehicle. Um, but we do have have some spots just starting here. Again, nothing that I feel like really detracts from the truck, but uh, you know it should be noted. As we walk around, note that the bumpers show really nicely. Yet they've got uh, great reflectivity. Um, hitch and seven pin connector along with a brake controller have not been tested. I haven't tested any of that stuff. Uh, uh, so I'm going to leave it up to the new owner to just, you know, make sure that the, the hitch is, uh, you know, bolted down securely and the wiring is set up the way you want it. Again, just a little bit of surface rust here and uh, some more along the wheel well. This might be a truck. I don't know, do you want to maybe throw some flares on it or something and hide that? Um, completely up to you. And then just a couple bubbles here again that, that I've shown in photos. Um, but just a, an incredibly presentable, beautiful truck. Uh, roof is gorgeous on it too. Damn good looking vehicle. Man. Got those alloy wheels on there. Those were added. Uh, some of you are going, you couldn't get that 92. Yep, yep. We know the Alcoas came uh, from 95 on, but uh, this truck is now wearing them. With, uh, with a spare that comes along with the truck. So uh, not a spare tire, but we do have an extra, extra wheel to include. Uh, front bumper shows the same. Again, just really bright, great reflectivity. Grill, headlights, I just stuttered. The grill and headlights uh, show nicely. Um, all the glass is original on this truck and looks really nice. It, again, you can tell how this thing was pampered over the years. It really only came out in the summertime. And... Uh, and, and it shows. You know, I didn't spray the wipers or anything like that. You can see just a, a little bit of paint loss. But all the trim is nice and bright on this thing. Uh, you'll be proud. Be really proud to, uh, to own this truck. Uh, please give a shout if you have any questions. Again, my name's Jeff. Um, you know what I'm going to do before I go, though? I'm going to drop his tailgate and slide this wheel out of here. Um... What I'm talking about with the bed liner is see the brackets there for the fifth wheel? So all you gotta do is just pop this liner out and uh, your fifth wheel is, is right there and uh, you know, the hitch is of course included and, uh, and you're good to go. I kind of thought that might be easier because if you cut a hole in this, then if you're hauling mulch or stone or something, then it all gets underneath that liner. So, um, just uh, try and try not to screw anybody over uh, when they buy the truck here. So, again, 
Thanks so much. We'll talk to you soon.